Yeah, um, Garfield Lawrence here. I just wanted to shoot this other video for you real quick. You know, in terms of showing you why it's important to brand yourself, you know, and how that's going to help you. And I know the last time we spoke about um, the different, the, 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 the reason why I chose my brand. And, you know, that's something you're going to have to come up with on your own as to why, you know, or what, 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 what the reason is for you to choose what you choose when you do decide to brand yourself. You know, this is just a few pictures that on Google. I just wanted to give you an idea and an understanding of what the branding yourself is. As you can see, it singles you out. It separates you. You know, it shows what's different about you. And I, I don't know if you know, but there is something different about you because you're an individual, you're a special, you have all these different talents. There's only one you. I don't care even if you're a twin. There's only one you. And you need to start realizing that there are special qualities that you have that nobody else has. And, and, and that's something we're going to talk about in another video. You know, but I just wanted to explain to you that branding yourself brings kind of brings that out. You know, it kind of it kind of it kind of shows you, you know, or, or emphasizes the characteristics that you have that make you different. You know, so that's why branding yourself is it's so important. Now, in terms of your business, what it's going to do is going to make you easily recognizable by by you know the people. Hold on a second. It's going to make you easily recognizable, you know, by the people who are looking for your services. Now, this is important because you want, you want when somebody's thinking about what you offer, you know, say, for instance, you're a mechanic or you're a plumber or something like that. That's just an example. You want when people see your cards or see whatever you add or see anything about you know, that service for them to think about you. Now, this screen here, you can see it different different you know explanations or graphics that are showing you why you know branding is important because it separates you from the masses and in order for you to be successful online you have to set yourself above above everybody else because in this industry there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy stuff going on you know everybody's just rushing and bombarding people's inboxes trying to make money and trying to sell them this sell them that sell them this and that's why I'm glad uh, for the position that I'm in and I'm glad for everything that I am doing right now to build my business because that's what's going to set me apart, you know, from everybody else. My business is going to be about helping people, not ramming products down your throat in your inbox that is waste of your time and waste of your money because it's not doing anything for you, just selling you something so that I can make a quick buck, but changing this industry. I'm a part of a team of people that's working together to change this industry so that the average person could get up and say, okay, I want to make some money online. I want to quit my job. I want to do this. I want to do that. And they're able to come to my site or come to me or come to my company and they'll be able to get information that's going to help them. Help them say, okay, to, to research what it is they want to do to work from home. And once they start researching what they want to do from home, it's going to provide them with substantial amount of information that's actually going to help them not just ramming products down their throat and saying buy this buy that buy this and then you're going to be rich just so I can make a few bucks because that's not I'm a Christian person that's not what I'm about it's about helping people you know and the more you give the more you're going to get but that's that's a different that's a different webinar we're not going to talk about that we're talking about branding so I'm just going to show you real quick an example you know I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you an example of what you should do and the first thing we're gonna start with in this video you know I'm not gonna make it too long I'm just gonna make it quick but the first thing we're gonna talk about is Facebook a lot of people are on Facebook um, doing a lot of different things you know they got a lot of different pictures that makes you know make people able to recognize them or recognize their company it's a good tool to use to help you to brand yourself but before we get into the Facebook I want to talk to you about your logo you know what 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 are you gonna pick you have to pick something that's in correlation with your with your product or service something that that kinda goes with it something that complements it don't just pick something crazy that that's, that's, that's like off the wall that people are gonna look and be like what you know you, you know like for instance with a plumbing company a plumbing company would pick a logo that's like a water pipe 
you know, something that, that relates, that'll make them think quick, boom, okay, that's a plumbing company. I remember he had a water pipe, he had a, a faucet, he had a, a wrench, he had, some, you know, so that's, you just have to kind of use, your, use your, 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 your brain, you know, to pick something that's going to make yourself easily recognizable as in somebody who provides a service or, or, or sells a certain product to help people. Um, we're going to go over to this site now, but one more thing. I know I'm kind of talking a little bit, but I just want you to understand that getting this logo and this, 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 this brand that you're going to use for yourself and for your business is very important. Um, you could go to Fiverr.com, you know, to, to, um, you can go to Fiverr.com to get a logo created for like five bucks. You know, just 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 play around with it. Draw, get a little pen and paper. You know, actually, before I I did my logo, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. You know, and I, I you know I might still tweak it here and there, but that's the basic concept of what I want mine to be. You know, before I did that, I drew it on a piece of paper. I showed it to my wife. I even asked my kids. You know, because this is something that means something to me. I even spoke to someone and I told them what my brand was, and they were like, "Oh, well, is that how you want people to see you? What kind of name is that?" And I said, um, the name, I chose that name, and I explained it in the last video, I chose that name because I am going to change things. It's already changing because I decided to step up and make certain, you know, certain, certain decisions in terms of for my business. But now that you know, you go to Fiverr.com or there's another product. There's another place you could go. Just give me a second. Another tool you could get is the um, Laughing Bird software. You know, it's um, the logo creator. You know, it got a, a bunch of cool little stuff that you could use to actually make the banners and stuff yourself. If you're that type of person, some people are not creative and they just don't have the time to be even bothered into doing that stuff. So they just go to Fiverr real quick, get it done, boom, 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 and move on. But me personally, I, I, I like I like to put my own personal touch into things because. It's, it's, it's my business, you know, and I've I told you before, I've been in the construction industry for over 10 years doing roofing, and I like to be hands-on, you know, I like to say, when I sit back and look, I can say, okay, yeah, I did that, but um, let's go over here right now to Facebook, we're going to look at some a company that we all know, boom, Coca-Cola, as you can see on this page, they, they've branded this page, you know, this is a Coca-Cola fan page, and look at that, they have their logos, they have their, you know, this this is how you want to have your stuff set up. This is just an example of what you should do. I'm not saying you should have your face plastered everywhere on your, your, your page, but you want to brand yourself. You want to make yourself recognizable. You know, you want to have maybe a picture of you here and have your logo, your company logo right here and, you know, your name or whatever. Not just, not just walking around talking about your product and your service. You want to, you want to more be more personal to people so they could feel okay yeah I like this guy you know I, li I like this, this you know let me see what this guy is talking about because everybody else is talking about buy this buy this buy this buy this so when you actually come and provide people with value and brand yourself as that type of person you know people are more likely to to, to be responsive to you and we're gonna go over here to my page now real quick so you can see um, this is just one of my pages one of my pages here. It's one of my pages here that I'm using. And um I just want to show you right here how I have my own logo and everything on there. See, this is a little thing I came up with and I have my picture of myself and my wife. You know, and then I have my video. And I have my little article here. You know, this is this is just something that I'm working on, and I'm just trying to show you the importance of of, of creating your own brand, so that way you can get things done. I'm going to show you another page that I have. Just give me a second. Yeah, this is this is one of my other pages. You know, as you can see right here, I have my brand, no quick reviews. You know, this is this is something that's this is something that's very important to me. You know, so I take take the time to actually do a lot of these stuff myself, but. Like I said, you could always, you could always, you know, get somebody to do it for you, get somebody to 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 make your your stuff for you, so you actually could focus on, you know, getting your product and services out there, so that people could see, 
you know, what you have to offer and that you're actually giving them quality instead of um, just giving them stuff. And um, that's going to be it for this video. But I just wanted to let you know real quick, you know, I know I've been talking a lot, but I just want you to understand that that's going to help you in the long run for your business. You might think, oh, man, I ain't going to make no money. No, you are going to make some money if you stick to it, if you have, you, you, you have, um, you, if you stand for something, you know, and if you brand yourself based upon what you stand for, you know, the different qualities that you have, and you express that, you know, and you put that in your, um, you put that in your presentation of your company so that people could feel comfortable in dealing with you, and people could feel like, yeah, you know, I like this guy. This guy's honest, this guy's straightforward, you know, and stuff like that. So um, I appreciate you sticking around for the video. And um, just look for the next video. We're going to talk about a, a bunch of other. This is going to be a series. So this is video two. We're going to talk about a bunch of different things. You know, now we talked about um, the, why I picked my um, my brand and the reason why I chose it and how you should do go about doing yours. So and, and then and then now we just talk about how it's going to help you and kind of give you a little bit of information of kind of what it should look like and where to go to get your banner created and stuff like that. So what we're going to do next. You know, we're going to talk about how to kind of bring everything together, you know, how to set everything up so that you'll be set up to be able to start publishing your stuff, to be able to start putting your brand out there, you know. I don't want to just talk about brand yourself, brand yourself, brand yourself, but not showing you exactly what to do and how to do it and how to get these things done. So just look forward for the next video. I'm going to try to give you as much value as I can. You know, I constantly try to be learning every day so that way whatever I do learn, I can be able to share with you so that you'll be able to build your business and realize that you can accomplish your dreams regardless of those scammers, those gurus out there that are trying to t you know, you know, kill your dreams you can accomplish your dreams if you just stick to it you know, if you just provide value if you remain honest, if you have integrity you know, and just don't fall into the, the just don't fall into the majority man because remember you are special you know, there is something about you you are not like everybody else but you just have to figure that out you can succeed, and I speak a blessing over your life right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.